my brain develops a voltage, say minus 2 volts. That minus 2 volts rips another 2 volts off God. And that little 2 volts attaches to me in my mother's womb. So I'm now 2 volts negative and 2 volts positive, which is 0 volts. Now I'm a human being. Half devil, half God. See? <laughs> Clever, isn't it? And it gets better. So, let's have a look at the rules of the physical world. You see, the physical world say, says, if I have a dollar and you have a dollar, and I give you my dollar and you give me your dollar, we have a dollar. Which means we can't get something for nothing. But the intellectual world, for example, isn't like that. Because if I have an idea and you have an idea and we exchange them, I have two ideas and you have two ideas, and it doesn't cost anything. So we can double our intellectual wealth at no cost. Now, if I love you, my voltage goes up. If I hate you, my voltage goes down. If I love you, then my voltage grows from 2 volts to 100 volts, then when my energy leaves my body, it can leave this physical hell, escape the Earth's gravity, and it goes back to God, who becomes 1,100 volts, because he's got my soul. So God has grown, which is good. So what we find is, if we love each other, our soul voltage grows and we go back to God and God grows. If we hate each other, our soul voltage falls and it can't get off the earth. So if it falls from two volts in the beginning, don't forget it was two volts, if I hate you and it goes down to half a volt during my lifetime, then it will come, it, that half a volt will look for a half a volt baby. It's not going to look for a two volt baby. <laughs> it's going to look for a a half a volt baby, which isn't as strong as a two volt baby. It's not as clever as a two volt baby. It's not as happy as a two volt baby. So we're in hell. Abandon hope, all you eat who enter, says Dante. And the problem is, as we know, it's easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to get to heaven. And the reason is, if I'm bought rich and I have servants, I say that floor's not very clean. Clean it. And the person on the floor says, why are you kidding me? What have I done to you? And the person on the floor is hurt. And when the heart suffers, the heart purifies. And when the heart purifies, the voltage increases. So the person on the floor starts to go to heaven every time he's kicked. But the person doing the kicking starts to go to hell because his voltage goes down. And if we look at the information from the Mayas, they tell us that there are three worlds. We have the God world, the physical world, which we see around us. We have the soul world, which is where all souls go after they leave the body. Some souls go to the paradises, where they're not really bad ones. These aren't too bad at all. So they get purified in the soul world after 3,740 years in purgatory, where the heart is purged of sin. All these pictures have been put down by the Mayas, and I'll show you some of them. They go back to God, and God grows. So mankind is a, is a conduit, a channel for making God grow. The impure souls go to the underworld, and if you, your voltage is half a volt, you might come back and be a cockroach, a half a volt cockroach. Or, or you might be a million, one millivolt mosquitoes. So you come back as a ball of mosquitoes. And this is why this happens. This is why you get a flocks, of, flocks of birds, they all turn at the same time. Because it's the same soul. And bundles of midgets, and they all move at the same time. They stay in the ball. Because it's like throwing a brick into a car windscreen. You might have one volt to start off with, but when you throw the brick, it can shatter. You don't just have a nervous breakdown in the physical world. You can have a nervous breakdown in your soul. And that can go back as a hundred souls. 
And this is why the Maya say everything is illusion. I had a friend who's 80 years old and lives in England. And we went on a walk one day. And he said, I can't understand, Morris, why the Maya say this is illusion. And he picked up a flower. He said, look, that flower. It looks like a flower, smells like a flower, feels like a flower. What's the problem? Well, I didn't want to hurt his feelings. So that night over dinner and three bottles of wine, I said, Ron, do you remember that conversation we were having? He said, yes. I said, look, that flower was a biological system. It had a voltage on it. It, it. it had God in it. The soul, it had a soul attached to it. In two weeks' time, the plant will die and the soul will be released. If it's pure soul, which it isn't, because it's only a flower, it has to get to mankind to be that higher voltage, then it will escape the Earth's atmosphere. If not, it will come back and the flower, in three weeks' time, may be a worm, because it will attach itself to a voltage which is equal and opposite to itself, exactly. And it might be a worm for a month, and its it voltage might go up, and it might come back as a mouse, and it might come back as an eagle, and its voltage will keep going up. And this is a problem. As our voltage goes up, in one lifetime, we become more intelligent and more loving because, don't forget, the body is the devil. And what the Indians tell us in the Bhagavad Gita is that if we have a look at the body, they compare it to five horses that represent the five senses of the body. And the reins are the intellect. The brain is the driver. And the soul is a passenger. And it's up to the intellect, the driver, to hold back the horses from running away. You see, we've got the eye, uh, the nose, and so on, on each horse. The eyes, the nose, the ears, the mouth, the touch. If we re use the mind to hold back the body, then we'll have a peaceful ride on Earth. So what happens is we get... Our voltage goes up as we evolve. We're here for thousands of years, millions of years we live for. We've been back many, many times. You guys especially at this conference have been back many. There are old souls and young souls. You are all the old souls or you wouldn't be here. Not my words. We get to a certain voltage, but as we get to a higher voltage, we have more money and we're healthier and we start to abuse the people around us. And so the voltage goes down the next time. And it's like being in an elevator in a tall building. You go from the fifth floor to the second floor, ninth floor to the third floor, 50th floor to the 12th floor to the 11th floor, and so on. And we can't get to the roof, to the helicopter to take us to heaven. And this is why we're in prison. This is a prison. This is where we live. And people say to me very often, well, how do we love our neighbor? Because clearly if you love, your voltage will grow. That's the key. Jesus had the key. And I said, well, it seems to me that the biggest problem to me in this world is that people have likes and dislikes. And the problem is, if you dislike something, if this is normal, if you like, if you dislike something, you could hate it. Disliking is a first step to hate. And that's the problem with the world is hate. So it seems to me that we have to get rid of dislike, get rid of this disliking thing. It's no good to us. But the only way to get rid of disliking is to like get rid of liking. And we have to get rid of liking. It might sound unpleasant, but we have to. So he said, well, I can't get my head around that. What do you mean? And I said, well, look, okay, take red peppers. Red peppers make me feel sick. I don't dislike red peppers. Lots of people enjoy red peppers. God made red peppers for all of humanity, and we're all different. And God's not stupid. If you think God would make something that's inherently bad, then there's something wrong with the way you're thinking. God is clever. And I know God is clever. It would be a slight on his intelligence to suggest otherwise. So I don't need to dislike red peppers. I avoid them. Simple. I don't like red peppers. I don't like bananas. I enjoy them or avoid them. It's simple. And if we get rid of this liking and disliking, then you can't dislike a person because you know God created them. God loves everybody, all six billion of us. You know, why do you think, you know, some people think God's stupid. Why do you think God went to all that trouble to make us all different? Earth signs, fire signs, water signs, air signs, 